legendaries. They're the best cards in Clash Royale, right? Well, yes, but actually no. You see, while legendaries are individually very good cards, and putting one in your deck is probably going to improve it a lot, having too many legendaries is just going to be imbalanced and not work. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. Hello, this is up to a million and welcome to my first ever Clash Royale video. Um, so today we are going to be seeing if we can survive in Clash Royale with only legendaries. So, let me just find a deck slot, okay, and I'll put this to rarity descending so we get all the legendaries at the top. Um, Okay, so the first problem I can see with this is there is no high damage spell in legendaries. Um, so that could be a bit of a problem. We do need a spell, so we'll take log. Um, and then for a tank, I'm going to take Mega Knight rather than Lava Hound. Okay, um, I, so I like to take in my decks at least one spell, um, I usually do take a high damage spell in every deck, but obviously I can't do that, so at least one spell, at least one tank, at least one, like, rushy thing, for example, Hog Rider, Bandit, Ram Rider, stuff like that, um, so I'll take a bandit again, because I'm used to using that. And as a tank killer, which is also an important thing to have, I'll take Inferno Dragon. And so now we just need some good support cards. I like having a swarmy card in most deck, most decks. Um... It's like, Graveyard is the only one, but it, it doesn't really count because it spawns them separately. Like, one by one. So, Magic Archer is overall a good card. Um, so, we can just take some support cards. I'm probably not going to take Graveyard. Um, but Night Witch might be good. Because that's the closest we can get to a swarmy thing with her bats. Um, Ghost is overall a really good card. Um, and then as one more kind of support thing and defense thing. Whoops. Um, I think I might take Lumberjack, or, yeah, I'll take, hmm, yeah, let's just take Lumberjack and see how it goes. We can always change something out later, um, but let, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm in cl a classic challenge, because I don't want to risk my trophies for this. Yes, yeah, so let's get into this first game. Okay. Starting off with a giant. I'll play a, a ghost here as well. He's going really aggressive from the start. Um... Whoops, I did that bandit way too close. And it didn't dash. That was my fault. But already, we're taking the lead. Um, okay. So he's used the barb barrel there. I can just ignore that. Well. I wasn't actually expecting it to get taken out, but I was going to ignore it anyway. So I'm just going to play a Mega Knight at the very back. And see how he responds. Sparky, okay. 
I was thinking about taking E-Wiz, I decided not to, but maybe that would have been a good idea. I'll log that, um, whoops, that was a useless log. I did that way too late. As you can see, I'm certainly no professional at this game, but when it comes to games, if you're having fun, really that's all that matters. You don't need to be very good at it. Um, but also, we are winning, so. I have kind of gotten an easy opponent here. I'm just do a bandit in the pocket to get some more damage on the tower. And I think I'm going to do a Lumberjack and a Mega Knight here. And that should finish the tower off. Oh. I was expecting the Sparky... Yeah. Okay. That didn't do what I was expecting. I thought um, the Mega Knight would catch the Sparky and the what do you call it tower in one hit like um with the splash damage but the angle wasn't quite right but um yeah we're still gonna win this game um it was not too tricky at all so yeah i'm seeing positive signs that we can actually um, get a good, um, what on earth was I going to say there? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that was a promising game. So, yeah, I don't think this will be as bad as I thought after all. But if we get to, like, sudden death, and then I lose on a tiebreaker because of not having a high damage spell, I'm going to be very disappointed. Um, but yeah, I'll time-lapse the next few games, and then see you for the last one after that. So, I've analysed the last game, and the Lumberjack didn't help me much, so I'm going to replace it with Electro Wizard for the next ones, um, because I think that will be a lot more helpful. Okay, so going into game two, and we didn't start things off too badly. Um, there was a lot of everything, cancelling everything else out in the middle. Um, until here, where we sent a goblin barrel that I failed to defend properly. Um, and everything just went downhill from there. My infernal dragon got destroyed by some bats in the middle, which allowed the mega knight to get a ton of damage and then I wasn't able to defend his prince and he took the tower and there was nothing I could do in the final 45 seconds to stop him from taking the win. In the third game it was a similar start with not much happening but as you can see for almost the entire duration of the game, I was just gradually taking little amounts of damage, um, but not doing any damage to his towers, so the lead was getting bigger and bigger. And as you can see on screen, that continued for quite a while. I did manage to get a bit of damage myself here with the Royal Ghost and Magic Archer, um, but then, he sent in some wall breakers on the right that connected, and at that point his substantial damage lead was irreversible. So I was hopeful at the start of the fourth game, as I saw his low level cards and towers, um, and I did take the, take the damage lead. As you can see here, <laughs> I got an Ewes that got destroyed by the Sparky, so you can see how I'm not very experienced with that card. But as you saw there, I threw away my huge damage lead and it became about level. And after that, there was a lot of us just putting things down, 
cancelling each other out and getting nowhere. Before some clutch magic archer chip damage gave me the victory. Okay, so let's go into the final game here. Um, I'm not really sure what to expect from this one, to be honest. Okay, it's another person with lower level cards. So, I'm gonna have a better chance. That being said, um... This deck is really quite annoying to use. <laughs> There's a lot of things where usually you'd be able to deal with, but with this deck, it's just not possible. Um, But I think I've been doing okay. Um, I'm not- I think I might need to use the e -whiz on the hogs next time he does them. Because I did not defend them very well last time. Um, I'll save the Night Witch for them as well. As you can see from my mistakes in the previous games, though, um, I'm not used to using eWiz at all. I've only used it like once or twice. Um, so we are managing to claw back a little bit of damage on them, but they've still got a substantial lead. I'm just gonna wait. Okay, here it is. Um, I think I defended it much better that time. I mean, they did a lot less damage than before. But it still wasn't the most effective. It turns out this guy doesn't really have lower level cards, it's just the mortar. Um, okay, yeah, we've got no chance of winning this now. There we go, that's it. Well, I think, I mean, I think I've done okay today overall. Um... But yeah, um, let's go look at the results now. Okay, so let's have a look at the results. So I'll put all the scores up on the screen. And what we're going to do is just work out the win rate. So we'll take um, the number of games we played. Um, divide it by the number we won and multiply it by 100 which gives us 40. So we have a 40% win rate and it turns out that um, the win rate you need to keep your trophies at the same level in Clash Royale is also 40%. Any higher your trophies will go up, any lower they'll go down. Um, so based on the fact your trophies will say this will stay the same, I would say yes, you can survive in Clash Royale with only legendaries. But should you, um, I'm gonna say no. There are loads of decks out there that will get you much higher win rates. So I do not recommend using an all legendary deck um, as your main deck on ladder. However, this has been um, a fun test to carry out, and yeah, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like. 
If you really loved it, don't forget to check out my others and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.